Building on that, we have the binomial distribution, which models multiple independent Bernoulli trials. Suppose we flip a coin not just once, but say 10 times, and we want to know the probability of getting a specific number of heads. In a binomial distribution, we have n trials, each with a probability p of success, and we want the probability of seeing exactly k successes in those n trials. And the probability formula for the binomial distribution is the following, where n is the number of Bernoulli trials and k is the number of successes, which calculates the number of ways we can arrange k successes among n trials, also known as combinations in math. Finally, quite similar to the Bernoulli distribution, we have p to the power of k and 1 to the power of n minus k, which represent the probability of successes and failures, respectively. Overall, the formula can be interpreted as follows. p to the power of k multiplied by 1 minus p to the power of n minus k is the probability of obtaining the sequence of n independent Bernoulli trials in which k trials are successful and the remaining n minus k trials result in failure. Since the trials are independent with probabilities remaining constant between them, any sequence of n trials with k successes and n minus k failures has the same probability of being achieved, regardless of positions of successes within the sequence. There are combinations of n taken k such sequences, since the binomial coefficient counts the number of ways to choose the positions of the k successes among the n trials.